Now, looking at this portrait of Miss Marilyn Monroe, this is essentially a graphite pencil drawing, but I don't use 100% graphite because this particular portrait has a very high intense contrast to it, meaning that there are very, very dark shadows that uh, I don't think graphite can ever achieve. That's why if you are going to do a portrait with very high contrast like this one where your darks are really, really dark, uh, it couldn't be achieved by graphite alone. That's why I needed a help of one particular pencil. And this pencil is, some people say this is the darkest pencil available, which is not graphite and also not charcoal. This pencil is called the Conte Apari Pierre Noir pencil, sketching pencil, Pierre Noir. So black, really, really black. And when I tried it with graphite, this is the effect I was able to achieve, the kind of contrast that I want that I don't think graphite can ever provide me. If you are a graphite artist, I know you understand that. Even if you use 12B of the graphite, it wouldn't be very, very dark where you want to achieve really high contrast drawings, pitch black uh, shadows like this one. This is not achievable with graphite alone. That's why if you are drawing with graphite, so I, I can say that this is a graphite drawing, uh, only that I use one particular pencil for very dark shadows like here, like on the eyes, uh, here on some parts of the hair and some parts of the body. So this is the Conte Apari uh, sketching pencil. This is the only pencil that I use here except graphite. So I want to show you the process here so you will see how this particular black dark pencil help in uh, helps in uh, making this uh, drawing to look like this. That I don't think it would look like this if I use pure graphite pencil. This pencil, the Conte Apari Pierre Noir sketching pencil, has a very thick core or lead and uh, it feels a lot denser than uh, charcoal pencils. So I think that's why you can uh, sharpen it like this and I feel that this is a lot stronger than charcoal uh, pencil and denser and uh, you can even achieve uh, tiny details using this very very dark pencil which I think is not charcoal nor graphite but you can use it um, this uh, single pencil with your graphite drawings. I suggest that uh, if you are going to use it with graphite you just get the, the 2B of the Pierre Noir. This is the 2B. This is perfect for graphite. You don't need many uh, Pierre Noir when you are using graphite. You just need one. So I suggest the 2B. This is perfect. Let's uh, finish off the hair on this particular drawing using this uh, Conte Apari uh, dark pencil Pierre Noir Noir means black I think especially with hairs like this which is uh, which has a very high contrast meaning this is a blonde hair but there are very very dark details on the hair that uh, is needed to make it look fuller so with graphite uh, it can be as dark as this so uh, you will see here in real time how this uh, Conte Apari Pierre Noir sketching pencil make very very dark shadows and highlights here on the hair to make the hair more realistic and to define the volume of this blonde hair so there are some uh, strands which is uh, very very dark but uh, I'm gonna be using graphite in the majority of the hair I just want to define uh, the dark uh, folds or dark shadows on the hair first that's what I did initially on the hair I established the uh, dark shadows what do you call it the clumps of, of the hair because uh, I want to establish the direction that the hair is going so I just follow the shape of the hair based on my reference and uh, I added uh, some graphite here already but I haven't uh, uh, done more, much of the details yet but now I'm showing you here in real time how to do the details of the hair so uh, after this it's just a base actually majority of this is just a base and now I'm going to do the final details of the hair starting with this uh, Conte Apari Pierre Noir sketching pencil now you can see even if I'm not applying heavy pressure here, you can see that because the pencil is really dark, you can really see the strokes right away because uh, uh, if I use graphite here, 
it wouldn't be as dark as this and i want to make it really dark especially this tiny strand and highlights or rather shadow of the hair so uh just like the skin tone the hair is also uh, multi-layered so man, there, there are there should be uh, some layers of graphite here as well but uh like what i said using this dark pencil i'm just trying to define that very very dark shadows and uh what do you call these clumps or the folds of the hair and then i go here on this part of the hair so just very very quickly i'm just trying to uh put all these dark strands of hair the hair is blonde and uh, because this is blonde the contrast is really high the darks should be really really dark and the 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 majority of the hair is basically just light because it's blonde hair and uh, this blonde hair wouldn't be realistic without very dark pencil like this you can use uh, dark graphite uh, like 10b or 12b but if you want to go a lot darker you really need this one pencil but for the majority of this drawing i use graphite and this pencil is a big help in providing me with the contrast that uh, i need for the drawing like here for example this lower part of the hair has very nice dark contrast and details right here I'm gonna soften the Pierre Noir a little bit using this very very soft real makeup brush. This is literally a makeup brush. Just very lightly because I don't want to lose the details that I added using the Pierre Noir on the hair. You just want to make it softer the strokes a little bit. Because the hair is blonde, I'm gonna use uh, the B pencil. I don't want to use very dark graphite on the majority of the hair. So just using this B pencil for adding very light very very light uh, shadow i haven't uh, put uh, 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 highlights yet on the hair because i just want to make sure that um, the shadow is really really complete already before i start to, uh, putting my highlights by using uh, erasers I really like combining soft graphite shade which is really nice great kind of uh, of shade and the very dark uh, Pierre Noir pencil so you can really see the difference in the contrast. Now using my Mono Zero eraser right here I'm just gonna define the highlights of the hair to deepen the contrast. You can use rubber eraser pencil, but uh, I find this uh, mono seal eraser uh, better. There are some loose white hair, so you can just easily add them using this mono zero eraser. I love how intense the contrast is because of the Pierre Noir because the highlights wouldn't be this bright and intense if we haven't added very dark shadows uh, using the Pierre Noir uh, dark sketching pencil. It almost looked like it lights up the, sh the highlights. But the Pierre Noir, as you can see here, is highly erasable as well. So you can just erase on it. If you need to add these uh, bright hairs, you can just easily erase. I really enjoy this process, especially on the hair when I add highlights because uh, uh, it makes the hair more realistic and the volume is uh, starting to be defined right here
now there are some uh, crazy wild white hairs highlights in here that is uh, very very easy to create this uh, curly white hair effect using this uh, eraser mono zero eraser So if you are using graphite and uh, you uh, get frustrated because it wouldn't get as dark as you would want it to be, uh, that is just the nature of the graphite. That's why you need a little help from darker pencils that are not necessarily graphite. Some artists would use black colored pencils. Um, some would use charcoal pencils. Uh, but uh, here I use this uh, very nice special pencil here, which is the Conte Apari Pier Noir. I think this is a French pencil. And now I'm gonna clean some of the highlights, especially the bigger highlights, using this kneaded eraser. And to make them uh, even more uh, intensely white. To deepen uh, the contest. Now I'm gonna make the necklace, the pearls, come to life using this electric eraser. Can you see the difference with the jewelry when we added the highlights using the electric eraser? But th this wouldn't look like this without the beer noir. Or if I haven't uh, added these very dark details on the necklace. Now when I erased, can you see immediately how instantly it becomes really, really realistic like this necklace. I'm so happy. It's so nice. So there you go. That is uh, a very quick compared to my other portraits. This is a lot quicker to do using graphite pencils and this beer noir. Conte Ipari, Pierre Noir, dark sketching pencil, and this graphite pencil. So, this is it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.